So we went out to the village of El Moto because somebody came out from their community and asked us to help them out with water. Uh, we wanted to see what they were currently doing. We ran across a lady named Adelma. She took us out to her backyard. She had a cove in her hand. She said, this is what we do. We punch a hole in the ground, and after about a foot, uh, we get water. It was so disgusting, and, and we saw what she was doing. We wanted to sit down with her and talk to her a little bit about her reality. A small group of us were out there with John that day. Um, the plan was to just get just some things on camera about the water situation, talk to some people, and just really understand the reality. So we came across to Delma and John sat with her and just talked a little bit about what that water situation was like for her family. Explícanos por favor cómo está consumiendo su agua, cuál es la situación de agua aquí en, el, en la comunidad del Moto. Bueno, aquí por lo general todos los años ya en el invierno así hacemos estos hoyos como lo pueden ver. Claro que en la mañana le botamos el agua que amanece, nos lavamos y así nos tomamos el agua. Cuando está agua, los niños, porque aquí hay niños pequeños que nos enferman y se mantienen que con diarrea, dolor en el estómago. Y claro que es por el agua, uno vive consciente que es por eso, pero no tenemos de otro lado de donde traerlo. After they were finished talking, she got up to go get something out of her house and we just had the camera still rolling and caught John in kind of a candid moment. That's really bad. Can you believe that? No. This is, this that, is like... Is that one of the worst you've ever seen? The people are actually consuming this? Yeah. And yeah, then if nasty. you go look at her, that bathroom, uh -huh. I mean, this, this, of any place we've been, this is like, this would be the game changer. Get that. We were just sit there kind of in shock. We've been all over the place in Nicaragua and seen a lot of very poor water systems, rivers, shallow wells, and uh, this was definitely the worst. And about that time when we were finishing up that interview, a lot of kids, a lot of people from the community were coming and seeing what's going on, and we realized all these people in this community are going to be drinking that same water for the rest of their lives unless we do something about it. We talked amongst ourselves and just decided that this is something God's calling us to do, to do, to do something about it.